Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be talking about the five holiday bricks that are gonna be released a little bit later in our season, later in the month. Let's just go and dive right in, shall we? <laughs> All right, so every year uh, Sensi does holiday bricks. And this year we have five awesome bricks that consultants actually got access to in advance and I wanted to do a quick video on them to kind of go over the scents, my first impressions of them. I haven't wormed them um, and just kind of see what we've got cooking for the future um, holiday season, if you will. So there are five different scents. They are Fluffy Fleece, Pink Poinsettia, Spiced Eggnog, Sweet Orange Pomander, and vanilla, cinnamon, maple. And I do have the scent notes here. Uh, so as we sniff them, I will read the scent notes as well. So let's dive right in. We'll start with Sweet Orange Pomander. If you're not familiar with what a brick is, uh, to give you a perspective here, um, a bar, well, this is not a Scentsy bar, but this is like a regular bar size versus a brick, which is like five and a half of these little ones, even though this is not a Scentsy one. You get the idea. Um, anyways, so we do have a spiced orange pomander here, and this is described as sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. So clove, cinnamon stick, and sweet orange. So think of a pomander like those little, those oranges that you like stick all the little things in. Anyways, let's, let's, let's see what it smells like. Nice, deep sort of burnt orange wax. Oh, ho. Oh. Well, they're not lying. There is definitely orange, there's definitely clove, and there's definitely cinnamon in here. This is like if you added sweet, if you had the scent cinnamon and clove, or clove and cinnamon, I should say, I think it's clove and cinnamon. Anyways, that scent from Scentsy, and then you added like a sweet orange to it, that would be this scent. Yes. Um, there is a, I've smelled this before in a different company. Oh, oh, what is it? Oh, there is a, oh, it's gonna drive me nuts now. There's a Better Homes and Gardens um, scent that is just like this. Almost like, it's not a dupe because, well, I don't know, but very similar. There is a Better Homes and Gardens or Sensation, I'm pretty sure it's Better Homes and Gardens. There was a scent that was basically like, orange and cinnamon and clove and that's what this is i mean there may be other you know it's in here to make up the scent but like this <sighs> yeah i've smelled this before almost i i can i i i can remember it because i had to pull it out of my warmers i didn't like it, it was that this is not a scent that i'm going to be fond of but if you like spiced pomander or if you like cinnamon and clove heavy scents and you like that sweet orange counterbalance citrus oh yeah this this is not gonna be a johnny bar or brick i should say um maybe i will sample it out to some of my customers or you know whatnot but this i, I will definitely well I'll probably sample it out because I, I do want to try it at least. But this, I will figure out what bar this reminds me of and let you all know in one of my fragrance feedbacks um, or a review of these. Um, but this, this, that's not a vibe for me. <laughs> no thank you. All right, next we have Spiced Eggnog. This is ground clove simmers in a festive blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog. All right, so this is a like sort of creamy golden wax. Oh, very, very much vanilla, which is good. Definitely buttery. It kind of gives me not quite vanilla bean buttercream vibes, but similar, at least on the top. Let's see. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear like the thunder that's going on behind me right now. Oh, okay. So I definitely get the eggnog component on the bottom undeniably and it's it's 
It's hard to tell how that's going to translate when it's warmed, but on cold, it's very much that artificial, like, flavored eggnog you get at the store rather than, like, fresh-made eggnog that doesn't have that weird sort of aftertaste scent to it. So, I, it, they're not wrong. It does give me that. I'm hoping... And I do kind of get the clove. I'm hoping that when this warms, the vanilla butteriness from the top and there's the rum. I think, I, I hope that that kind of carries through and mellows it a bit because on cold, the top of the bar is very much like buttery vanilla yum and no spice. And the bottom of the bar where the oils kind of sank down to a little bit is like spice and rum and like artificial eggnog scent. So hopefully if it mellows out and kind of marries the two scents, I'll really enjoy this. But this is kind of like a, to be determined for me. Like I like the top part of the bar, but I'm not sure if I enjoy the bottom. All right, next we have vanilla cinnamon maple. This is cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. All right, here we go. And this, it's good. It's good. Um, you do get the maple. You do get cinnamon. It's like a sweeter cinnamon, though. <sighs> or maybe it is like a more spicy cinnamon. Eh, no, it's sweeter. You do get a whipped sweet cream sort of note to this, which I love. And you really do get a buttery maple. It's not just straight up maple syrup. Like, there's a butter note to this. Which all of a sudden gives it bonus points, because otherwise it might be too heavy. This reminds me, though, of... I like this, at least on cold, I like this better. My goodness, Storm, calm down. It's setting off car alarms down the street. Cool. Um, this reminds me of, I think it's called Maple Sugar Drizzle from Better Homes and Gardens. It's, it's one of the Walmart ones. It's either Better Homes and Gardens or Sensations. I'm pretty sure it's Better Homes and Gardens. But it reminds me of maple sugar drizzle. Um, almost to a T. Um, and I don't mind that one. And it's very, you know, what it says. Maple sugar drizzle. Um, but it's very similar to this in its sort of sort of scent profile. Um, and, I, and I don't mind it. I'm not always in the mood for like bakery or gourmandy sort of scents, but when I am, uh, I kind of like simpler um, ones rather than ones that are really intense or like hyper convoluted or overly cloying. And while this one would you would think with like syrup, which is basically sugar and cinnamon and then sweet cream, I think the sweet cream and the buttery notes in this kind of mellow out the overall sweetness. So there is a richness to this as well. It kind of gives me like, the butteriness in this is the same reason why something like salted caramel toffee was a surprising like favorite of mine, even though I'm generally not like a big like must have buttery scented things in my house. All right. Moving on, let's talk about another one. Pink Poinsettia. This is crisp plum and blackberry. Celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. All right. And I do, yep. I do get the plum. And I do get the pomegranate right out the gate. I don't know that I necessarily get blackberry, but I do get a berry note to it. Let me see if I can smell the bottom gigantic. Oh, there's actually like a leafy note to this, like a green leaf vibe. Like, like it's like the berry, but like the berry vine. It's like the blackberry bush or something. I'm getting like a green, almost earthy note to this on the bottom. And it's, it's kind of given me a, whoa. Uh, well then, <laughs> we just had a power surge. <sighs> and on that note, let me make sure that our house didn't just fry everything. And we'll come back to this one. 
hold that thought. Okay then, so sorry about that. Uh, apparently there is a giant thunderstorm that's just deciding to like surge through Southern California right now. <laughs> Welcome to LA where we almost never get rain and then when we do, it's crazy. All right, so like I was saying, pink poinsettia. I do get the plum. I do get the, um, the pomegranate, but I do get this like leafy earthen green dirt sort of kind of note that might be tied to like blackberry, blackberry leaf. It's not just straight up berries and like poinsettia. Like there's, there's more to it than that. There's like a depth to this scent that kind of grounds it. And like the more I'm smelling it, the more I'm enjoying it more. I don't know, this, this could go one of two ways. The pomegranate might be too much for me or it might end up making it smell quite nice. So we'll, we'll see. All right, let's move on to the last scent, hopefully before we have another like power adventure. This is all like real life. That's, you know, yeah, we had to do a couple cuts to make sure like my apartment wasn't gonna get blown up by lightning. But in the meantime, the last scent we have is Fluffy Fleece. This is black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. I don't know what heliotrope is supposed to smell like, but um, I do like cozy musky scents. Uh, black currant, it just depends for me. So let's take a look, let's find out. So I do get like a cozy musky note to this. That's a very big presence there. There is, um, it's kind of like if you stuffed your stuff, stuffed, you stuck your nose straight into a blanket um, and took a big whiff in after it was like out of the laundry. Ooh, so on the bottom, again, I'm not sure what heliotrope is supposed to smell like. Let's kind of look it up. But if there is a black currant in here, um, it doesn't smell terribly, let's see, heliotrope scent. It doesn't smell overtly black currant. Like it's there, but it's like a side contender. Okay, Hel Heliotrope smells like fluffy powdery almond mixed with syrupy cherries. It's a flower that smells, there's almost a vanilla sweetness there at times. Imagine a flower that smells like cherry pie topped with almonds and marzipan. I guess there is a little bit of like a cherry sweetness it's very subtle. I wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, it's cherry. But it gives a little bit of like a fruity sweetness to it. And all, almonds, mm. But I do get like a fluffy, slightly powdery note to this. And I definitely get the cozy musk. And then I think the current just kind of rounds that out a little bit. I don't know, I just, I don't know if I get a whole lot of current in this. Usually like, if you have like, especially black current, usually when you smell current in something, it's like, there it is. I don't really get that. I get a lot more like cozy musk and I get like this heliotrope, fluffy, powdery sort of scent. Almost like a slight floral kind of note like a powdery floral and then like musk yeah I don't I don't know if I I could mm. yeah I think like the black currant is not really there that much if it is there uh, maybe it'll change and warm but I actually really like this it's a little bit more powdery than I was expecting it to be but not necessarily in a bad way so we'll we'll see how these warm for sure um but with that being said, let's kind of rank these on cold, just what I think my favorites are going to be. So in fifth place or last place, I would say uh, Sweet Orange Pomander is probably my least favorite um, because it reminds me, maybe it was like orange cinnamon rolls or something. Maybe that was the scent I'm thinking of. I'll have to double check. I'll look at my like fragrance uh, spreadsheet of scents I've done or tried. Uh, maybe it was orange cinnamon rolls, but very similar to something that I've smelled in Better Homes and Gardens. I was not fond of, so I don't think I'm going to be fond of this one. 
Um, next, I would say spiced eggnog would probably be number four. Um, and that's only because I like the top scent, but I'm worried that the bottom, when it starts warming, is going to get too artificial eggnog or too spice heavy. And then it might become less desirable because I usually like eggnog. I love making fresh eggnog, like whipping it up all for like a holiday dinner party um, from scratch. But we'll see how this will warm. That will determine its final thoughts there. But right now it's kind of on the lower end of the pack. In third place, I would say, oh, that's hard to do. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go with the pink poinsettia in third place. Um, because, not because of like the earthy green, like dirt sort of notes that I'm getting in here, but because of the pomegranate. Like the plum, fine. The, the raspberry, what is it, blackberry? Fine. I don't know, the pomegranate could go one of two ways. It could like throw me for a loop or it could be like, all right, I don't mind. Um, but I do like that there's that like, green, earthy quality to this. So, you know what? We'll, we'll say that this is the three or two plus, or three plus, how about that? So it's like 2.5, if you will. So then I would say for two, at least, or 2.5, whatever, kind of like, it's kind of like a tie, but vanilla cinnamon maple, and I can't believe I'm saying this because cinnamon and I are not friends, usually. But this has a lot of like vanilla note, buttery note. This is like maple sugar drizzle from Better Homes and Gardens. And assuming that that cinnamon stays in like the mid ground or the background of this scent, as opposed to being like the main scent, like if this becomes more vanilla maple with cinnamon, I would really enjoy it. If it's just like cinnamon with vanilla and maple, probably won't enjoy it. And then this will get bumped down to almost like number four or five. All right, and that would leave Fluffy Fleece as probably my favorite on cold out of the five. Um, and this one, just because I tend to like cozy, cashmere-y, um, not quite laundry scents, but there's a powdery note to this, which I think is from the Heliotrope, that I'm not sure about as well. Like, this, that could go one of two ways. So, in, in general, I would say that I think some of these are nice scents. Some of them are very like, like these two I've smelled before. Some version of these I've smelled before. So are these unique new scents per se? Not really. I think they're nice safe scents for the season, depending on like, do you like orange and spice or do you like vanilla, cinnamon, maple, sugar, you know? These scents aren't anything out of the ordinary. Let me just put it that way. Um, this one, it will be interesting to see how eggnog comes across in a wax form because generally, um, like fresh eggnog that I make doesn't have a weird aftertone to it. Like it's, it's almost like just that creamy rich scent, um, rather than all the stuff that's going on here that reminds me of like the stuff that you buy in the carton at the grocery store. And if it smells like the carton at the grocery store, probably won't enjoy this that much, but it is a little bit more um, of a different scent, I will say. This, I'm just worried that it's gonna become too, like, powdery for me, but, um, it's an interesting take on fleece. I don't know that I would necessarily be, like, I think, I feel like it's almost too powdery on cold for me personally to be, like, oh, yeah, that totally smells like a fleece blanket or something. Um, it has a slight laundry note to it, but, I think it's more of like the powdery note than laundry. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm a little underwhelmed by it, to be honest, on cold. And, you know, like last year's bricks really like, were like, whoa. And then this year's bricks, they're all like spice centric or like powdery or like not quite what I expected. Even Pink Poinsettia, I would say that this is probably arguably one of the more unique of the five, um, pro if not the most unique of the five personally, but it's, again, it's a fruity floral. 
I think that what sets it apart from like something that is just a fruity mixture is the fact is that you have that earthy like dirt um, leaf note to it that I keep talking about. Yeah. I mean, I, I would argue that of the five, this is probably the most unique um, of the, the the quintet of them. Um, but yeah, I think I think they're all great holiday based scents, but I don't know that they're necessarily are like anything particularly unique overall compared to some of the more um, interesting selections that Sensi has offered. So. That's just my 10 cents. And again, this, these could all be subject to change when I worm them, but at least on cold, that's my kind of take on them. So hope this video was informative. If you smelled these, if you're a consultant, have gotten your hands on these and have wormed any of them, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I will be trying to worm through each of these in the coming week or two to kind of get an idea and be able to give a little bit more of a concrete conclusion on my thoughts on them. But I think, I think they're all great holiday scents for what they are. So if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you all in our next video. Take care, guys. Bye.